Good morning. It is Friday, October 16th. This morning, we are doing something a little bit different than we have in the past, while at the same time trying to do something that we've done in the past, and that is the Mass of the Toys. Usually every year, the first all-school Mass in December, the students will bring gift-wrapped presents to Mass. And at the offertory time, they bring their gifts up to the altar and lay them on the steps. After Mass, they are all bagged or boxed, and they are then taken to one of the trucks that uh, are sent from the industries at Indiana State Prison, and they are carted to the prison. All the packages are labeled with the sex and the age group of the person to receive that gift. And then throughout the Christmas season, as families come to visit the inmates at the prison, that inmate is given a present for each of his children so that he could give them something for Christmas. It is a wonderful opportunity to show charity to another, to show care and kindness and concern. I can't begin to tell you the years that I was a chaplain at the prison, what those gifts truly meant. Many children, the only gift they would receive that season would be the one that their dad gave them from the prison. They were always so grateful. You could see lots of teary eyes as they received the gifts or as they were going home clutching their gifts. This year is radically different. Again, because of the pandemic, we can't even have an all-school mass. So we are doing this early this year. The students are bringing presents to the school and they will be collected. And another group of students will then wrap and label the presents so that they could do some service hours as they consider what these gifts mean to those who will receive them. So in that regard, we'd invite any of you who might be watching this to bring a gift to the school for the prisoner's children at Indiana State Prison. The gift should be uh, something that could be used by a boy or a girl. Um, make sure that we know the age range. Well, actually we would know it because we'll wrap them for you. And just make sure you don't bring anything that resembles weapons. Uh, that's the last thing that we need to try to get into a prison. And that's the last thing that the inmates should be giving to their children anyway. But at the same time, I'd ask you to pray for those who are incarcerated. This pandemic has been bad on all of us. For them, it's been bad as well. And one of the things that has happened because of the pandemic, ever since it began, no visits have been allowed, no visits. They have not had a chance to see anyone among their families or friends. Pray for those who are incarcerated. Pray for those who are separated from family and friends during this pandemic. Pray for those who are immunocompromised and have to keep themselves indoors and therefore are separated. As I have said many times, it looks like we have a long way to go on this pandemic yet. But there are many ways that we can still practice the virtue of charity. God bless you this day and every day of your lives.